Welcome back to our viewers from around the globe. We're here at DevX World 2018, and I'm joined by Devry Bufner Vorwerk, Corporate Vice President, Global Corporate Affairs for Cargill. Devry, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having us. Now, you were talking earlier in the plenary session on the main stage here at DevX World about trade being a radical tool yeah. for sustainable development. To what extent is it so critical in really propelling the sustainable development goals forward? Well, um, we did use the word radical and innovative because actually two sustainable development goals include trade. So they're including the charge for the development community to really think about how trade can impact local development. And so SDG 2 is zero hunger and SDG 17 is about partnerships. And so our charge or our call to action was to, to really get the development community in the room, all those prominent folks, to think about how trade can be a great activator, taking, taking local smallholder farmers to market and what that could actually mean in terms of advancing their incomes or their community's development opportunities. And so what, what is the trade agenda that you're proposing here today and, and, and what needs to change within or even outside our community to help get us there? Yeah, well I think first of all, I, I meant to provoke a little because there is a trade agenda that does exist and I, I talked about trade being misunderstood and in fact a lot of these trade agreements, like the Trans-Pacific Partnership I mentioned in there, yep. they actually do have best practices as it relates to the goals and the sustainable development goals. Some of the highest environmental standards, getting those governments to come together around and addressing compliance of those standards, addressing corruption and transparency and also addressing investment provisions and so um, so really there is a bit of an agenda out there um, there's the trans-pacific partnership that I said look I think the United States needs to rejoin that I, I talked about the need to end the embargo on Cuba and even today as it relates to North Korea talking about going from dark to light for those 25 million people and thinking about the power that trade could have there to impact those people's lives and then my, my big push was to get everybody back to the table in Geneva and the WTO. Because the Doha development round, which is included in the Sustainable Development Goals, it is yet concluded. And that started in about 2001. And we've, we've had a lot of wasted time having trade, and, trade community and development community talking like this instead of talking together. I w wanted to touch on one term that you used earlier, and that, that was responsible trade. I'm responsible sure trade. many of our viewers um, are familiar with, with concepts such as fair trade. Um, but, but what exactly do you mean by responsible trade? So responsible is, is meant to, to really um, get people to think about what are those important elements that need to be in there so that yep. trade can work for all. Because what I also acknowledged in there is that trade hasn't always lived up to its promises. There are segments of society that are still marginalized, mm -hmm. that there are still inequities that exist. So responsible trade is about having an open trade agreement, it's transparent, creating transparency, and having governments live up to that transparency. It's talking about addressing things like sustainable use of land and water and ensuring responsible production and consumption, addressing human rights in the elements of those agreements and labor standards. And so it really is about taking all those things that the development community is working toward and saying, look, trade agreements can address these. And in fact, many have. So take a look, especially at the multilateral system, take a look at what's embedded in there and can we tip trade on its head and think about it as the development tool that it really is. And there was a, a strong call to action uh, to our DevX World audience asking them yeah. directly for support. Uh, the same goes for our viewers across the globe today. Um, how do we, in practical terms, make trade more of a driving force for, for development efforts and how can we convene a broader church of actors um, and, and work better together going forward? Well, I, the call to action was that I used the word activist, that we need activists for trade. And as opposed to using that activism to get out and march in the streets against trade, let's use that activism to come together around a truly sustainable development trade agenda. And in fact, um, what, I, what I did say in the call to action is can we agree to work together because there are so many people that don't have the ability to come to the table and we should hold our governments responsible to come to the table on their behalf. And so, so for example, at Cargill, we launched something called Fed by Trade, which is a convening tool that we have to tell the stories and elevate the discussion. And so we'll be doing our part to find that convening moment. But just last week, Director General Acevedo called together all of 
of those stakeholders, NGOs, governments, uh, uh, civil society and private sector. So he's laying the groundwork in Geneva. And I know in July we'll have yet another summit at the WTO. So I think there's momentum and it's going to take all of us to be activists to set the expectations of our governments here. And we'll continue to follow that on, on devx.com. Um, I wanted to touch on another point. Um, I, I think you touched on it just then, the, the fractious nature of the relationship between private sector actors, NGOs, civil society groups. Uh, what's your advice um, here at DevEx World about bringing about a shared agenda, a common agenda? Well, for those of those, those folks that aren't as steeped in the SDGs or the Sustainable Development Goals, one of the most important ones that's going to allow us to achieve, achieve the other 16 is SDG 17, partnerships. And so what I, what I challenged all of us to think about is that we're all development professionals and we all play a role, whether it's corporations or you know, NGOs or government. And so what I'm challenging folks to do is to understand there's a grain of the lines and in fact, the only way we get development done at Cargill all around the world is in partnerships. I highlighted a couple of those partnerships here today with CARE and we have others around the world with the World Food Program and others. And so it's truly in partnership. I think I was just asking folks to look at the private sector a little bit differently and, and for us to acknowledge that we're all playing our role and only collectively are we going to achieve these big audacious goals that we have set for the globe. So you talked about speaking on behalf of others, but I mean, do you feel as Cargill that you have now, the private sector has now a, a seat at the top table when it comes to these discussions ar around making the SDGs happen? Well, I mean, we certainly feel it, right? This, uh, we're here at DevX, which is an amazing platform for that connectivity. So I do feel we have a seat at the table. We have a seat at the sustainable development table, and that's a really important thing for corporations to recognize, is that we're not separate, right? So I do feel we have a seat at the table. In the end, it's governments to governments that have to agree on what's what's going to be best for their people. So isn't it better for all of us with this seat at the table to come together with one voice and consistently push that action so that we're setting those expectations? I mean, Devra, you're, you're clearly very passionate about the issue of uh, responsible trade. Um, but I wanted to pose a final question, and that's why is it so important to you and, and what is the next frontier? Uh, for Cargill in this regard? Well, I mean, I think what's, what's important, and it's a lot like why people would work for a particular NGO, for example. My personal values are aligned with Cargill, and it's in Cargill's DNA that we advance trade. So it, trade is what brought me to the company, and we do it with the recognition that it's pulling people out of poverty. And so, so my personal passion is aligned with our mission uh, to nourish the world. And so what's next? What is next is that we have to raise our voices in a collective way, as I've said, and continue to push for trade. And, and I guess the personal mission that I have that I tried to, tried to articulate out there is that trade doesn't need to be the great divider. It is indeed the great connector, and we will not achieve global goals if we don't have global connectivity. And that's between businesses and even among farmers, as you were explaining on stage. Yeah, I mean, I think you can see the farm community, not just here in the United States, but from around the world, yep. begging to be connected to markets because they understand these are smart businesswomen and smart businessmen, these farmers, and they understand the need to be connected. They understand comparative advantage. And so, yeah, I mean, I think I think if, if, if there was one thing that I could do today is to put a glimmer of hope and inspire folks that trade is actually one of the, the tools that we have in our toolkit to lead the way to advancing sustainable development. And finally, your thoughts, your message to the global development community watching DevX World here today. My message is it's time. It is time for us to um, truly acknowledge, not just say, but truly acknowledge that this is a partnership and we all play our role. Devry, thanks so much for, for joining us today and to our viewers, uh, stay tuned for more coverage from DevX World 2018. Thank you very much.